morning. Welcome to Mountaineer's Life. Last week, we learned there was always a plan to save us from sin. It was prophesied in riddles. But once the prophecies came true, the plan was revealed. Who do you stick with when times get rough and why? Teamwork is essential during to escape quests. Let's learn how. Check out Color Good morning, Mountaineers. My name is Cree, and today we will be doing an activity. I have Taylor with me, and the item you will need is, 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 two, is paper and a coloring book. Taylor, Taylor, here's a piece of paper. I want to see if you can rip it. How hard was it? Here's two pieces of paper. Now let's see if you can rip that. How hard was it? Try, try to rip this coloring book in half. The pages of this coloring book are thinner than the pages we already had ripped in half. You think that they would be easier to tear, right? But when the pages stick together, they don't tear. When Jesus was arrested, his disciples broke apart. They were frightened by the mob and they ran and hid. Only one had the courage to stick with Jesus to the very end. If the, if the others had stuck with Jesus, they might have found the courage to be with him even at the very end. Jesus wants us to stick with him no matter what. Jesus will be the, the bond that holds us all together and makes us strong. Like the pages of this book, we, if, if we stick to Jesus, nothing can tear us down. We will stand strong so that others will see, will see that they too can, can find strength in Jesus. Onward forward to the lesson, bye-bye. Good morning, Mountaineers. It's me, Mrs. Alberta. Today, I want to ask you, what do you do on Saturday mornings? Well, when I was your age, I used to watch my favorite cartoon show. It was about a group of friends and their dog who was always in a sticky situation. And they had to always solve a mystery. They used clues to solve the mystery However, one thing they used to do was split up. And when they were split up, they didn't know what was going on. What the other one found, what the one found, what the other one found, they didn't know until the very end. Well, let me ask you, if you were in an abandoned amusement park with your friends and you had to get out, would you split up or would you stick together? In an escape room, everyone's usually stuck together. There is no splitting up and searching the house for clues, but that doesn't mean a group can't be splintered. Friendships and families are often put to the test in an escape room. The problem is groups that splinter don't usually work together. It's the groups that stick together that are the winners. On the night that Jesus died on the cross, Jesus urged his disciples, he urged them to pray and not only stick together, but stay close to God. Jesus knew what was about to happen to him and he even warned his friends to stick together. He knew almost all of them were going to fall away. There were men who had traveled with Jesus for three years straight. 
and they knew him very well. They loved him. They trusted him. But when push came to shove, almost all of them split up and ran for the hills. Not only did the disciples split and run for the hills, the crowds who had welcomed Jesus just three days before that turned on him as well. Instead of sticking with God, they followed with the crowd and called for his death. Everything that happened to Jesus happened for a reason, and none of it came as a surprise to him. Jesus knew that his disciples would abandon him. He knew that those same crowds that were just a few days ago crying Hosanna would be the first and cry crucify him. He also knew that he had to endure all of the shame so that he could pay for their sins, even the sin of their betrayal. Even though Jesus knew that was going to happen, the bottom line to it is it didn't have to happen. If Peter, James, Andrew, Bartholomew, and the others stuck with God, they would have found the faith that John did to follow Jesus to the cross. If the crowds had stuck with God, they would have mourned his death with Mary Magdalene and the other ladies at the cross. God can give us the strength and courage to stand with him alone or together, in, even in the hardest of times. We need to stick close to God in good times and in those bad times. We also need to make sure that we stick together as believers so that God can strengthen us as a group to stand for what is right. History tells us that many of the men and women who bailed on Jesus that weekend found the courage to stick with him after his resurrection. 10 of the 12 disciples even died sharing their faith. They stuck with Jesus even in death. They shared the good news with others. Because they stuck with Jesus, the good news about Jesus spread like a wildfire. Because they stuck with Jesus, the good news spread about Jesus like a wildfire. Because of their faith, we are here today growing our faith. We may never face the same persecution the early church did, but even if we do, we can find strength by sticking to God and sticking with one another. There is strength in numbers. We know this because we know the strength our family and friends give us. If we stick together, we will stand strong. And even if there is no one to stand with, we know we are not alone. We can stand with Jesus and he will give us the courage in our most difficult moments. Let's stand with Jesus when we're nervous. Let's stick with him when we are afraid. Jesus will give us strength and he will never fail us. Let us pray. Dear Jesus, help us to stick close to you, even when no one else does. In Jesus' name, amen. Good morning, Mountaineers. My name is Cree, and I will be showing you our main point for today. God wants us to stick with Jesus. Repeat after me and do what I do. God, God wants us, wants us to stick, to stick with Jesus, with Jesus. God, God wants us, wants us to stick, to stick with Jesus, with Jesus. God, God wants us, wants us to stick. Jesus, with Jesus. Bye-bye, Bye. it's, it's me, Cree, and today we are going to play Decipher. Listen to the message and see, and see if you can determine the answer. We have Brielle, 
Maya, Taylor, and Madison. Here's the first. Rub to rub to of me the wrong way. Me, we make sparks. What am I? Thanks for your help last week. I've been searching for clues in this chamber, trying to find a way out. And I found two riddles written on the wall. Well? Um, uh, um, what? Matches? Firecrackers? No. Matches? No. Rocks? Candles? No. Sunglasses? Oh, wait, no. Uh, Electronics? No. It's stick. I said, I thought it was stick. The matches are made of sticks. I said, good job, Mountaineers, for trying. Let's get to the next group. Riddle. Here's the second. Peanut butter and jelly. Peanut butter and jelly. Snoop, Snoopy and Charlie Brown. Batman and Robin. Salt, salt and pepper. All of these go with me. What am I? Friends. Peanut butter and jelly. Oh, they stick together. Yup. Wow. Great detective work. Stick together. You know that. That's a good advice. If I had anyone in this place with me, I make sure I make sure we're stuck together so we can escape together. But I am not alone in here, and you are never alone either. Jesus is always with us, and if we stick with Jesus, we can face any challenges. Thanks for for helping me solve the riddles. I think I am getting closer to make my escape. As soon as I find some more clues, I'll be in touch. Back to me, issue release. Bye bye. Today, our clues remind us stick together. The Bible says two or three are gathered, but he will be in the midst. Despite leaving Jesus during a trying weekend, they found the courage to stick with him after the two escape quest. We stick together every Sunday as believers when we gather around the world at church to worship God and to get closer to him. As we play games, read the Bible, and complete other activities, the goal is to strengthen our faith so we can have the same faith as the disciples. Let's stand with Jesus and rely on him to give us courage during difficult moments. Let's pray. Dear Jesus, help us stick close to you, even when no one else does. In Jesus' name, amen. Come back next week for part three.